It's Ask the Expert with the Scottish and Irish Store uh, here on CTV Morning Live. If you have any questions about the things you see or don't see here on the program or what uh, the Scottish and Irish Store has to offer, you'd be surprised. Hey, a lot. Yeah, you got a lot of services. Absolutely. And I mean, actually, uh, you know, I like to. I, I go in, as you know, and uh, and check out the hats, and I have to rent the odd kilt and so on for whatever purpose. Events, all the charity events you do, yeah. But uh, all the food and stuff you have there, yep. I can't believe it. All the the gear from uh, you know rugby shirts to Premier you know, League. You had uh, you had Euro Cup stuff. That's right. Yeah. Any special events like that, and real nice souvenirs and stuff from people who follow uh, their soccer teams. Absolutely, and that's that's the whole idea. We try to cater to the British and Irish market as yeah. much as we can. There's always things we'd like to t bring in, but we just I, can't. I can hardly go in without buying a hat, to be well, honest with you, a cap, as yeah, it were. Yeah. And well, and uh, the idea too. I brought in just some of the teas and biscuits oh, that we offer because. We just sell, the teas alone. Yeah, that's this is just some of the, the range okay, we have. Okay, let's let's start over that side. Yeah, actually, this is this is one we we have a lot of people come in for the Marks and Spencer, uh, Earl Grey and uh, Strong Tea. So we do all the Marks and Spencers. Right. Uh, a little bit harder first to bring them you, in. Let me ask you a question. Do you have uh, Marks and Spencers, Bangers and Mash? No, can't get that in. Yeah, it's, it's they used to have meat. stores here in, that's in right, Canada, yeah. and they and don't. They used to have it in the tin, so you could just open up the tin. Oh, okay. And stay yeah. in kidney pie and everything else. Yeah, yeah. Um, so of course, uh, Marks and Spencer is very popular, and then of course at Christmas time we get all the Christmas cakes and puddings in. Right. And then of course uh, from Ireland, the Barry's Tea is very, very popular, and uh, so we bring in the different ranges. And we bring it in directly from County Cork, so. It's right from the plant. I saw the, a lot of plant. that over there, yep. Yep. And, Look at uh, the size of the PG the tips The PG box. tips, yeah, because we what we, happens is because uh, we bring in so much tea, a lot of the uh, different makes we can get in large sizes because uh, right. people don't like just And why 40. would you buy in bulk? Oh, yeah, it's a little cheaper and it'll, it'll work out. Right. Uh, we have the Lancashire tea, the uh, Nation's tea, which has, you know, Drink tea and stay calm, keep calm. Old, Drink uh, tea and keep calm? That's it. Uh, that was their off, slogan? It'll take off of the, uh, the British government's... Uh, Carry, right. Keep calm and carry on. Right. So, uh, which is now making the, uh, the rounds again. Uh, of course, Thai Fu, Natetli, Namberry, Lions comes from uh, Ireland. That's a big one. It, it's hard for us to bring that in. So, when, when it does come in, with the Lions? Yeah, it's because we only get Why two shipments. Well, we only get two shipments a year from Dublin. Right. And sometimes, if our supplier the dates aren't right, we have to skip a shipment. So sometimes it can be a year before we see it again. It's a fantastic so, city, eh, Dublin? It is. A lot. Man, it's just I mean, so they, much going on there. And it's cool to see, uh, that's the sun on me, by the way, it's just coming yeah, out. There. Yeah. Uh, the it's cool to see uh, some of the similarities when it comes to products and oh, the yes. differences when yeah. you go overseas, right? Yeah, definitely. And that's, you can see that difference right in your shop. I know, uh, like when I found lemon curd, I was very excited. Yeah, well, that's the thing. That's why a lot of people come in, <laughs> and of course, with the tail scones. But everybody comes in, they, they, especially if they've been in the shop for the first time, and they see the food. They're just yeah. amazed at how much we have yeah. from the UK and Ireland. And if you thought, you know, through television or what have you, uh, that uh, tea is a big thing in uh, in Great Britain, you'd be correct. Yes. Yeah. And, and that's it a, is huge. And we, and we sell a lot of the loose teas as well, which yeah. people like. Yeah. Uh, I, I prefer loose tea myself. Yeah. This uh, is uh, you've got green teas. Yeah. The, the Twinings has a. Uh, we have a huge range. There's a. Twinings about, is a huge name in teas. Well, yeah. With all the uh, herbal teas, there's. I mean, you look at some of the flavors you have there. Yeah. You can just uh, read them off there, Kurt. You've you got uh, green tea with pineapple and grapefruit, uh, fresh and fruity with black currant, ginseng, and vanilla. A moment of calm with orange, mango, and cinnamon. They could probably use the moments of calm and we, over there in London right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, we, and we have about 40 different uh, varieties of the Twining's Herbal, so You good. even brought some more specialty teas, right? Yes, so, well, you've got the, the Bewley's again. Oh, Bewley's is, uh, they're into tea and coffee, yes, right? Yes, yeah, well, they have the coffee shop in, on uh, Grafton Street. Which yeah, is, I've been uh, in it, yeah, we went nice, in it, yeah. Yeah, nice, nice coffee shop, yeah. yeah. And of course, the Yorkshire tea, teas, which are very, very good, the Yorkshire Gold and Taylorgate. Um, the more of the twinings and the Glengetty is as a Welsh tea. This one here. Yeah, that's from Wales. Wales is and, a cool uh, place it's too. It's funny because you know a lot of people. I mean, there's not a lot of Welsh in in Ottawa. Yeah. But enough that when they come in the shop, they like something Welsh. Yeah. So we have that. Biscuits to go with your tea of all kinds. Oh, lots, eh? lots here. We've got the Weight Watchers too, which a lot of people oh, yeah. love because uh, these all come in from the UK. You can't get these here. That's just a few of the biscuits. The, you know, the chocolate digestives. Right. There's the ginger and lemon, we have the cranberry and orange, nice, double chocolate. Nice, nice, nice. But people what's, like what's it. What's the most popular uh, biscuits in... Uh... You, you, you Probably the ones you see here. So you've got the Tunnocks, uh, caramel wafers, uh, club orange, that's a biggie, penguins. These are all big ones for tea time. And shortbreads. And of course, you've got the walkers and then you've got the ones we're bringing from Ireland. 
as well, the O'Neills and Kate Kearney's. This is the sort of thing they eat at uh, tea time. Yeah, right? that's it. You have a little, little from sandwiches, four o'clock in the old, they have a little bit of a tea before yeah. you have actually supper. Because, oh, sorry, yeah, sorry. People don't uh, eat dinner later. Yeah. Right, so that's, that's the snack in the afternoon. It's, that's it, just, a, just a, at the end of the uh, afternoon, just to tide you over. It's good too, it's and, good tea. Uh, oh yeah, and they've got the, the, uh, we've got the malt loaf, which a lot of people like. It's nice. a nice little uh, malt, and then I've got this is actually a new one. Just came in. It's uh, it's a, it's tea. It's a, oh. a English tea, a English breakfast. But it's of course got the Union Jack, which a lot of people like. The little, a little tin souvenir can. Yeah, so it's uh, it's quite neat. I think it's okay. actually you can a make it bank. a bank. Yeah, so it's good. And of course, Pinjana, which is a, a, a Irish breakfast tea from uh, Northern Ireland. Yeah, and from Belfast. Well, you nice. could you could save up enough money for uh, more tea. Yes. That yes. Uh, we're going to take a break, but we have more coming up. Yep. What's nice, next? The nice designer jewelry. Designer jewelry from Scotland. It's a Scottish jewelry, yep. Yeah, very cool yep. stuff. Uh, we're here with uh, Michael Cox from the Scottish and Irish store here on Ask the Expert. We'll be back with uh, our next segment right after this. If you'd like to find a Scottish and Irish store, what you do is head toward my house uh, in the West End and stop at 2194 uh, Robertson Road right in the mini mall there. Or in the East End, it's on uh, St. Laurent Boulevard. We'll be back with more after.